Hey everyone, get ready for an exciting lecture on periodic and aperiodic signals. Okay, so what exactly is a periodic signal? Fine, well, it's a signal that has a definite pattern and repeats itself at regular intervals of time. Okay, imagine a wave that just keeps going and going following a specific pattern that's a periodic signal okay so a signal which has a definite pattern and repeat itself at a regular interval of time is called was periodic signal okay and when a discrete time signal x of n satisfy the condition which condition which condition so the condition is if x of n satisfy the condition x of n plus capital N is equal to x of n okay where this n is what an integer an integer fine then we can call it as a periodic signal right fine then the dt signal x of n is called what a periodic signal if x of n satisfy this condition then the dt signal x of n is called what periodic signal where this capital n means what this capital n is simply it represents the number of it represents the number of samples in a period number of samples in a period okay or you can say number of samples of a period anything is fine right so i hope this much is clear to you but how do we determine if a signal is periodic or not simple we just need to check what the condition for periodicity so what is the condition for periodicity same right x of n plus capital n it should be equal to what x of n for all n integer values for all n integer values so basically we just need to check if this condition holds true for all integer values of n or not if it does then we can confidently say that x of n is indeed a periodic signal clear so if x of n satisfy the above condition then we can say x of n is what a periodic signal hope this much is clear to you fine now let's talk about the fundamental period so this is the smallest value of capital n for which the equation x of n plus n is equal to x of n is true okay it's like the heartbeat of the signal the rhythm that keeps it going right so the smallest value of n for which the above equation is true is called was fundamental period i hope this is clear to you okay but what if the equation does not hold true for any value of capital n well in that case we have an a periodic or non periodic signal so basically these signals does not repeat at regular intervals of time they are like the wild card of the signal world okay so if there is no value of capital n for which the above condition is satisfied then x of n is called a periodic or non periodic signal okay so a signal which does not repeat at regular intervals of time is called what non periodic signal that is what i explained to you i have given the notes also if you want the notes then you can join our telegram group i have provided the notes there so even sometimes a periodic signals are said to have a period equal to infinity 
ओके दे आर जस्ट सो यूनिक एंड अनप्रिडिक्टेबल दैट दे कांट बी कन्फाइंड टू एनी स्पेसिफिक पैटर्न सो कीप दिस पॉइंट इन द माइंड ओके फाइन नाउ लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट थिंग फाइन सो वी ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट द एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी वन आई वॉज टीचिंग यू द साइनसोडल सीक्वेंस दैट टाइम आई एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर एंगुलर फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा इज कॉल टू वॉट ओमेगा इज कॉल टू टू पाई बाई कैपिटल एन सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी कैन कैलकुलेट दैट एन इज कॉल टू वॉट एन इज कॉल टू टू पाई बाई omega so this is what the formula for a fundamental period funda mental period hope this is clear to you fine now let's move further so note so some of the two discrete time periodic signals is always periodic so keep this point in your mind okay some of the two discrete time periodic signals is always periodic now as we know the discrete time sinusoidal and complex exponential signals are periodic in nature if and only if what if and only if f not f not frequency if it is what a rational number if it is what a rational number right this f not is what basically a frequency frequency in cycles in cycles per sample cycles per sample hope this much is clear to you so if this condition is satisfied then only we can say a discrete time sinusoidal and complex exponential signal is what periodic in nature fine now let's see one example so i have this x of n versus n one signal is there okay so basically what was the definition for a periodic signal so as i told you a periodic signal has a definite pattern and repeat itself at a regular interval of time so if you see here at minus 2 the value is 1 at minus 1 the value is 2 0 the value is 1 1 the value is 3 again you are getting the same value at 2 1 3 2 okay 4 1 5 3 right so this particular pattern is repeated right it is repeated at regular interval of time here so if it is repeated so that is what the fundamental period so n is equal to what 4 because we have four samples right 1 2 3 4 so you can see here like a fundamental period for this is what fundamental fundamental period for this is what fundamental period n is equal to what 4 right and if you want to write this signal then how can you write this so x of n is equal to what it is keep on going this way keep on going this way means repetition right so x of n is equal to what so 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 comma 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 and it will follow the same so that is why we are saying it is a periodic signal because this signal is what so here this is the n is equal to 0 instance fine so if you see this it is keep on going the same pattern will repeat this side also the same pattern will repeat this side also so this signal this x of n has a definite pattern and repeat itself at regular interval of time that is why we are calling it as a periodic signal and the fundamental period for this is what n is equal to 4 after four instants you are getting the same value okay the repetition is happening so what is this small um, capital n the smallest value of n for which the above equation which equation we have found right x of n plus n is equal to x of n 
so that equation fine is true is called was fundamental period hope this much is clear to you now let's move to the next fine so i want to show some points here so suppose you have two signals right suppose you have two signals discrete time dt1 and dt2 fine and both are what periodic signal both are periodic in nature periodic signals now the question here is suppose i have one dt signal i have one dt signal right which is basically it can be a sum of this two dt1 plus dt2 or it can be what multiplication product of this two dt1 into dt2 okay so in this case assume like the fundamental period for dt1 and dt2 the fundamental period for this is what fundamental period for this is what n1 and fundamental period for this is what n2 clear now what will be the period for this dt signal which is basically it can be a sum of two periodic signals or it can be a product of two periodic signals right so then you can say like this dt signal is what periodic in nature with a period given by lcm of n1 and n2 okay hope this is clear to you so now this dt signals period is what lcm of okay n1 and n2 simple because this dt signal can be either result of addition of this two periodic signal or product of this two periodic signal that is why this dt signal will be periodic with a period given by lcm of n1 and n2 hope this much is pretty much clear to you no doubt till now right now let's go to the next so i have one question here it usually comes in the exam also so so that x of n is equal to e to the power j omega not n is periodic if omega not by 2 pi is a rational number so you have to prove this here so how can we prove this let's go one by one so we know that x of n is equal to this right so what is the condition for periodicity if you go for condition for periodicity condition for periodicity so what is the condition x of n plus capital n is equal to x of n that is what we have seen right so this is what the condition for periodicity now wherever small n is present you have to replace with n plus capital n right so in this replace so it will become e to the power j omega naught into n plus capital n and it is equal to e to the power j omega naught n right now you can open this multiply this particular with this as well as this right so it will become what e to the power j omega naught n plus okay j omega naught capital n clear so it is equal to what e to the power j omega naught n fine so hope you are aware about the exponential formulas now you can write this expression as e to the power j omega naught n into e to the power j omega naught capital n this is equal to what e to the power j omega naught n okay hope this much is clear to you is there any doubt no right fine now when it will be possible 
that this will become this so if the value for this is what one so we can say like this two expressions are equal right so when the value of this will become one it is pure math row now right so when it will become one so when e to the power j omega naught n will become one we have to check for that condition so basically if you go further we can write this particular e to the power j omega naught capital n as in the form of cos and sin like cos omega naught capital n plus j sin omega naught capital n is equal to one now when this will become one so there is another condition fine when it will become one when this omega naught n right if you see this omega naught n it should be what omega naught n should be a multiple of 2 pi so 2 pi m right where this m is what basically an integer m is an integer m is an integer so now as per this equation you can calculate like so omega naught divided by 2 pi is equal to what m by n m by n where this m is also what in teaser and this capital n is also what in teaser so this becomes what a rational number a rational number fine this become what a rational number so this shows you know as per this this shows like this shows that x of n x of n is equal to e to the power j omega naught n is periodic is periodic if omega naught by 2 pi is a rational number is a rational number hope this much is clear to you so story starts from this point okay so condition for periodicity is what this so it should be equal then we can say like it is a periodic signal okay so when you come to this so to be this two expression as equal we want this as one right now what is the condition when this will become one for this we did this much of things we got to know okay this is the condition okay if omega naught by 2 pi will be a rational number then we can say like okay x of n which is basically e to the power j omega naught n is periodic in nature hope this is clear to you so if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so that's all for today's lecture on periodic and aperiodic signal in the next lecture we will be discussing numericals on periodicity okay so don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you